Hello, what's up guys, it's Kyle from KGR doing a review on the infamous Figma Yuki. Now I say infamous because here, this figure, uh, it, it's a little bit hard to come by. Okay, here, you had to get it through either Anime Expo or through Good Smile's website. And unfortunately, Anime Expo is over and you can no longer pre-order it through Anime, uh, not Anime Expo. You can't pre-order it through Good Smile Company anymore. So here, in order for you to get it, you gotta get it second hand, whether it be through eBay or sellers through My Figure Collection or stuff like that. So and it's not gonna be cheap. The cheapest I've ever seen it was like I used one for like seventy or eighty dollars, and then any of the new ones are still like a hundred dollars at the cheapest. So uh, here, one of my viewers, uh, Hardhead Pistol three sixty. Here, he managed to pick up two of them, and he sent me one, which I cannot thank him enough for, because he could have sold it and got all of his money back, plus some, but instead, he sent it to me, and that was absolutely incredible of him. So, today, we're going to be reviewing it, and I'm super duper excited to review this figure, because if I didn't get this figure, I wasn't going to collect the sort of online figures anymore, and here, after uh, this, actually, no, before I recorded this, I actually uh, paid my pre-order for my Kirito from ALO, so look forward to that review. Uh, that's probably gonna be going up in a few weeks, but we'll see what happens. But anyway, anyway, uh, today we're gonna be reviewing this, uh, and I'm rambling, so let's get into it. Here, before this figure got even announced, here, I remember I used to do a series called Ask Me Mondays, and somebody asked me if I would like a Figma Yuki. Like, I forget how the question was, but we pretty much said how, like, this would be a cool figure to have. I'm like, oh man, that'd be really awesome, but it's not gonna happen, because they already announced they're doing Kirito, Leafa, and Asuna. That's it. But no, they came out with Yuki, and I'm happy they did, because me and my friend Justin absolutely loved this character and Shinon. Because they're actually interesting in Sword Art Online. But anyway, so here when it comes to the sculpt and paint job and everything, the paint job is pretty much flawless. Like, this is somewhat a rushed figure, and they, they nailed it. They did a great job painting this figure. When it comes to anime figures from Figma, like, they mostly get it spot on. Like, I have yet to have a bad figure from them. I know I did a bad review on Kirito, at least the first Kirito, but... It is a good figure, don't get me wrong. It's just I don't like how the swords break so easily. I was just really bummed out by that because I almost broke a sword. But luckily I didn't. But anyway, so the, there are a few things I don't like about this figure so far. And there's a few nitpicks. Let's go over the nitpicks first. Uh, now, first up, this might be because it was rushed for the Anime Expo. But as you can tell, the elbow joints don't really match the arm. On camera, it's probably showing up like black. But here they are a dark shade of purple, so it almost matches. Like, if you actually look at the box, it actually shows it being the perfect tone, or if you just look up stock online pictures. However, it doesn't really match perfectly. Same with the wrists, but I think the wrists look better than the elbows, in my opinion. So hopefully when this does get re-released through Good Smile, hopefully they will fix that, but if not, oh well. Yeah, that's just a nitpick for me. Uh, but um, was there something else I wanted to nitpick at? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, one more thing. Uh, this may have just been a problem for me, but here, you see her chest plate. First off, it looks really great, but you can see how she has a strap, okay? Uh, I don't really know if it's supposed to be like over her little purple thing or above it. So I was trying to adjust it, try and make it fit right, and here, at the ends of these, right under her chest plate, these are pegged in. And this one came out, and trying to get it back in without removing the chest plate was a huge pain. I did get it back in though, so it did take about like five minutes, but if that happens to you, uh, know that you're not alone, and do know it is a pain to get it in there, but it, it, again, that's just a fair warning I wanted to give y'all, uh, and the one thing I don't like about this is the fact that the dress, like, it hinders articulation. Now, don't get me wrong, okay, here, it is very soft plastic, okay? They did their best trying to, like, make sure, like, it wouldn't be hindered at all, and uh, good Smile is normally good at that, uh, or Max Factories, whatever one actually makes the figure. Uh, but here, okay, this part uh, this is actually on a swivel, not a swivel, it's on a Figma joint. However, if you look under here, you see they're trying to cut it so it doesn't hinder articulation that much, but they didn't cut enough. If they would have cut all the way up, then it would actually allow her leg to move freely, but unfortunately, it, it, it kind of stops right there. So, unfortunately, you're not going to get too much leg movement out of the left leg. So, that kind of sucks. Or technically the right, her right leg, but whatever. 
but still you get my point you can't really move it all that much but overall like the paint job is really great like she like everything is spot on like I'm not seeing any mistakes so I I'm happy with it like, I love her little crosses on her arms too like that looks really really great overall I'm happy with this figure like this looks great it's just that that bothers me and this just somewhat bothers me when it comes to articulation if you have a sort of online figma at least from the new ones then you already know what to expect so first up uh, we got her hair articulated so there you go kind of like Asuna and then and then I meant to say I'm sorry okay then we get a uh, figma joint at the head so it goes forward backwards it goes about that much and oh her face fell off oh sweet lord my bad okay anyway so it goes about forward that much and then it goes backward about that much but if you move her hair back she can look up pretty high up which i'm really happy with because here this character is supposed to be a flying character so you gotta have her neck go up pretty high so it looks like she's flying and stuff so i'm happy they got that down right freaking lucina i'm not happy with lucina like that ugh, why they didn't do that ugh. okay anyway so when it comes to the shoulders they go outwards pretty far and i love how these things do not hinder her articulation at all so it goes up really freaking high too i'm really happy about that and they go forward and backward and stuff like that i'm just nervous about popping out that peg again okay then you get the figma joint so it does go about that much of a bend a realistic bend and does it count as a bicep swivel uh yeah you can use it as a bicep swivel if you want to uh you just gotta be a little bit careful so there you go and then we get the new wrist right here where it's a ball hinge instead of like a little peg and I like these a lot more because they're just better in my opinion um, anyway then we get a, I think there's some type of movement up here um, yeah under her chest plate you do get some articulation down there so you can do a little rocker I guess uh, there is no hip articulation unfortunately so with the legs we're just gonna be showing off the right leg because that's the most articulated because this one's hindered so it can go forward pretty far uh, it can go backward a little bit not too bad uh, hold on, let me move this I love how this is on a little swivel so like you don't have to worry about snapping that but the fact that it's not a loose piece somewhat concerns me because then you're worried about snapping off but then you don't have to worry about losing it so that's nice so anyway you get your little knee bend which I wish I could show off properly but there you go uh, again a realistic bend and they go with the smaller uh, Figma joints so it doesn't have a giant gap coming out of the back of her leg which I like so much so then when it comes to the ankles uh, they go forward and back it's pretty much a little Figma joint and then they go side to side if you want to so there you go uh, it's pretty much standard articulation when it comes to Figma so uh, you, you've seen it once you've seen it 10 million times unless they change something up again now let's go over the accessories now of course she al always comes with a figma stand a figma baggie and a replacement wrist but let's go over her faces first up we got this the default regular smiling face another smiling face but it's more adorable a shouting face when it comes to her hands she has a default fists a pair of gripping hands a pair of open palms a larger gripping hand and a peace sign because kawaii and they also have a hand where it's holding hands with Asuna, which I'm not gonna lie, that's so freaking cool. She also has her sword, which, by the way, I love so much because of the fact that it actually comes apart and you can actually put it in her hand without warping your hands. Kirito, why didn't you do that? I don't know, but I, I'm happy about that. I, I, you, can, you don't know how much I love the fact that the sword comes apart like that. As you can tell, the sword can't really fit in her scabbard all that much because it, it just doesn't so here they also have this little peg right here that you just simply plug in but it goes in a specific way so make sure you get it right I never did it before so yeah got it we also have this little scroll now I honestly thought the scroll was gonna be used for the bigger hand like the bigger gripping hand but no so now I have no idea why there's a giant gripping hand there's like no more accessories that can take advantage of it after looking at the back of the box I just found out it's mainly so she can hold her scabbard when she's pulling out her sword uh, they didn't have to do that which I'm not gonna lie I, I like that that's really cool I'm never gonna do this pose but hey it, it looks cool and also a set of wings you can either attach via a peg that it comes with 
or you can use a stand so you can make it actually look like she's flying so that's really cool and all these wings are articulated and I love how they look all like they're like bat wings it looked badass no lie so overall what are my thoughts on this figure despite the few problems that it has like the hindered leg and I also noticed that the fact that the face falls off relatively easy like I was doing this review and it fell off so many times so a heads up you might want to try to fix that if you want to that's all up to you but overall if you are a sort of online fan and you like figmas there's no doubt you gotta get this figure and plus she's an ama amazing character if you never even heard of this character look her up like she has a great backstory I love her so I'm really really happy to have this figure and I'm really really happy because of the fact that I didn't have to pay for this thing <laughs> so thank you again hardhead pistol 360 for sending me this figure you are absolutely amazing for doing that you didn't have to but now Yes, I'm so happy I got this. Overall, I do recommend getting this figure. It probably is the weakest out of the Sora Online 2 figures, mainly because of her few problems. But overall, she's a great addition to the collection, and she looks absolutely great. And before I end this review, this is something I really gotta say. Where in the world do you get that face for Asuna? I have Asuna. She doesn't have that face. And now it irritates me because I can't have this face. Ah! And that concludes my review of the Figma Yuki, and this is my new display until uh, Kirito comes out. So if you're new and you like what you saw, then like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and also follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, especially on Instagram because I post pictures of my figures a lot. So if you like this, then you'll love that. And also, uh, I already mentioned all my other shit, so I really got nothing else to say. So uh, look forward to my more... Uh, figure reviews. I'm gonna be putting up a review of D Arts, not D Arts. I'm gonna be doing Figma Link, then D Arts Mega Man X, and then SH Figure Arts uh, Naruto. But I also got the new Kirito on the way, so look forward to that review. And I also got the new Naruto on the way as well. So yeah, I got a whole spew of figure reviews that I need to put up. So look forward to that, guys. And until then. I'll see you guys in the next one.